Welcome to the Game Audio Resource Wise Cube Guide Series. This guide will cover the basics to get you set up with the Wise and the Cube game for the first time. First, you will need to register an account with Audio Kinetic via their website. Visit www.audiokinetic.com slash products slash wise. Using the Wise Launcher, we will now download the Wise Cube project. Open the Wise Launcher. In the Wise Launcher, click on the Wise header. Under Install New Version, click on Install. The next window will give you an option of every project available to download with a compatible Wise project. Please see the written guide for details of all the selectable items. The details on screen highlight all you need to select to download for the cube demo only. Finally, select a path to where WISE will install all above content, e.g. C drive, WISE underscore test. The next screen, choose plugins. For now, ignore and click on install. WISE in the cube game will now be installed. Say yes to any pop-up messages. Once the download is installed successfully, the WISE launcher will display a confirmation message. Open the WISE Launcher. In the WISE Launcher project tab, you will see the projects you have downloaded. Click on the Show More options and find the path listed on your computer. If you do not find any cube listed in the project tab, in the WISE installer, click on the Samples tab, then WISE from the drop down menu. The cube game should be found here. Click the Run Cube option, then select Open in the containing folder. In the folder is a list of folders, authoring cube and SDK. Create a shortcut to your desktop of the cube folder for quick access. Then select the cube folder. In the next list of folders, the two folders you will be mainly working with are cube, the game XE lives here, and where you will modify most of the script and data for audio related tasks, wise project, the WISE XE and project content is kept here. Everything you need related to implementing audio content to WISE is located here. Let's boot up WISE. Click on the XE here, e.g. C drive slash cube slash WISE project slash cube. Read the end user license agreement. Then click accept. The WISE project will now open. Let's now boot up the cube game demo. Click on this executable. C drive cube slash cube slash cube dash profiler dot bat. The cube demo will now launch into a generic mission with no enemies spawning. In the wise window click on the remote button. The remote connections window will now display. This gives you a list of X's Y's can connect to. You should have only one entry in the list with the status saying ready. Double click the entry in the window, or select the entry in the list window, then select connect to IP. Wise is now connected to the cube game. Now we are going to look at the profiler window. As you play the game, the Wise profiler window will list what audio content is triggered in real time when you play the cube game. Ensure stop capture is highlighted in red at the top of the Wise window. Also ensure the follow capture time is enabled, highlighted in blue. In the WISE toolbar, select Layouts, then Profiler. The WISE profiler is now displayed. As you play the cube game, the capture log and the advanced profiler list will be populated with what audio content gets triggered, how it triggers, and any errors found. This concludes the basics to set up launching WISE and the cube demo. Before moving on to the next guides, I suggest play the cube game for an hour or so, get used to the game, Watch the profiler window for what audio content triggers as you play. Start thinking about how you want to break the content down into individual assets, preparing to scope for the project. Take the WISE 101 online course. This will teach you all the basics you need to operating WISE.